Welcome back, everybody. Surprise, surprise. Um, I have a behind-the-scenes uh, shot from my other account, my other Instagram account, that is actually not Minimates. Uh, a lot of you probably don't know this, but I do have a second uh, toy photography account called My Other Toy, Other Toys. Very appropriate uh, for me since I'm all about those mini mates, and I haven't posted on those on that page for quite a while. Uh, some of the some of the pictures I actually did that Rick and Morty review for the lab. I actually did post some Rick and Morty uh, shots I've done behind the scenes for those. Uh, that got posted on that page, but it's been a very long time since I've posted there. So, uh, for whatever reason, I've just had this itch to get back into my GI Joes, uh, and you know, did a few set, got a few setups in mind. Uh, this is one of them, actually. Uh, this is uh, Cobra Commander, and then the Ninja Force and Major Blood, <clears throat> and it's basically uh, you know the first time Cobra Commander uh, comes or uh, once Ninja Force is uh, assembled. Uh, Cobra Commander. It's he. He's meeting them, and he's saying, um, you know, now that you've assembled them, let's put them on a mission or something like that. And he's walking away. But yeah, I just uh, for whatever reason, man, I've just been uh, hankering to do some GI Joe shots. I don't know if it's because there's so many cool ones on Instagram or what the deal is, but uh, yeah, I just had to do some shots. So uh, hopefully, I'm gonna get back into it a lot more. Uh, it's not like I'm gonna, ever gonna stop posting mini mates. I'm, I'm Got some pretty cool uh, stuff coming up for that, <clears throat> but uh, for now we're gonna, you know, look at uh, some GI Joes, actually uh, Cobras. So yeah, this is the first shot. Um, let's go to the next one. So here's our next shot. We have the Joes breaking into a uh, Cobra facility. We got one guy on a computer. Uh, I can't even. I don't even know his name. I don't know. Beach Hut and the the Beachhead and the Viper uh, back there are the only uh, you know figures I even know. Uh, I so I, when I busted these out, so what happened was, you know, digging through my old toys and find these, open them up. A lot of stuff scales really well with G, with uh, Mini Mates, and I'm like, God, it was you know, I I just love GI Joe, so. I'm like, I got to break them out and take a picture. So I set up that last one. And then, yeah, I just, uh, just because I love it so much, I do a bunch of other shots. Um, and, yeah, I've been watching the cartoons lately and just, just very uh, stuck with uh, G.I. Joe in my head. I'm even contemplating buying some vehicles and whatnot. But, um, yeah, so this is one of the ideas I came up with. It's a Joe's breaking into a Cobra uh, fortress, and then uh, one of the Vipers is killed by Beachhead. Uh, and I, yeah, I got to figure out who the rest are. One's like working with an electrical panel, and then this other dude is on a computer panel. And I'm going to shine a light in his face, a black light in his face, just to kind of hopefully give it some kind of um, appearance that he's on a computer screen or something like that. So yeah, kind of neat shot. Uh, really like it. Um, yeah. Anyways, let's go on to the next shot. So here's the next shot. We got uh, Scorpion hiding behind some debris. Um, with the Slaughter's, uh, Slaughter's Marauders in the background. I uh, love those guys. Uh, so, yeah, um, <laughs> just basically them approaching him. He knows he's screwed. You know, I, I think if I remember right, Scorpion is a pretty tough guy, but, uh, you know, that's Slaughter's Marauders, so he's he's definitely in some trouble right here. But uh, nice, simple shot. Um, yeah. Anyways, let's go on to the last shot. So this next shot is just a bunch of... Uh, uh, cobra, just a bunch of random cobra that I picked out and decided to do a shot with them, action shot. Um, I don't, I need bigger backgrounds, I need better backgrounds, so I just did solid black with this one. Um, I have a blue one, but it's kind of all marked up with the clouds and stuff, and uh, just didn't look right, so I ended up going with this uh, <clears throat> black, all black background. And uh, yeah, so we got, uh, I think it's called an alley. Um, Viper, uh, the guy on the right, um, and then we have Road Pig, who was one of my favorites to play with as a kid, and then the uh, one of the bats. But uh, I don't know. I started picking orange, and then all of a sudden I got an or orange theme uh, for the Cobra <laughs> figures I used. Um, yeah, and then I threw some debris, blast debris in front of them, uh, a couple effects on each of their guns, and then a couple explosions in the background uh, just to add a little bit more to it. But um, yeah, so that pretty much does it for my uh, Cobra um, 
G.I. Joe, uh, you know, uh, behind the scenes video. Uh, hopefully, hopefully this didn't throw some of you guys off too much. Uh, don't worry, I'm still all about those mini mates. Uh, my next video will be with them. But I uh, took a little bit of a break uh, with these GI and, and did some GI Joes. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully, uh, we'll see some more Joes in the future. Um, but yeah, that's about it for this video. I uh, will see you guys in the next video. And actually, I'll post the link uh, to my Instagram for uh, my other toys, uh, my other uh, Instagram gallery uh, with that features pretty much anything else that's not mini made. So, um, anyways, yeah, thanks for viewing. Hit that like and subscribe button and check out my Instagram page. And we'll see you guys uh, at the next video. Bye.